It all began at a glamorous Hollywood party in 1954. John F. Kennedy, a young senator at the time, was introduced to the dazzling Marilyn Monroe by his brother-in-law, Peter Lawford. Their first meeting was uneventful, but fate had more in store for them. However, Marilyn Monroe's acting career indeed experienced significant growth and recognition, and 1954 was a notable year for her. President Kennedy begins a tour of four space installations at Huntsville, Alabama, where he is greeted by Dr. Verna von Braun, space pioneer. Marilyn Monroe and John F. Kennedy attended the April in Paris Ball at the Waldorf, but they did not reportedly meet during this event. This event was attended by numerous notable figures. Jeff Kay was there with his wife, Jacqueline Kennedy, and Marilyn Monroe was accompanied by her husband at the time, playwright Arthur Miller. Given the size of the event and their respective companions, it's plausible that they did not have a private meeting or interaction during this particular occasion. Kennedy and his wife, Jacqueline, first crossed paths at a dinner party in 1952. They married on September 12, 1953. Marilyn's husband at that time was Arthur Miller, a playwright. They met in 1951. It was a tumultuous and complex partnership, filled with highs and lows, which would have a lasting impact on both of their lives and careers. It's been a year since Kennedy won the presidential elections. John F. Kennedy's victory in the 1960 U.S. presidential election marked a historic moment in American politics. A charismatic and youthful senator from Massachusetts, he faced off against then Vice President Richard Nixon in a closely watched and hotly contested race. Due to Kennedy's huge influence after the elections, he and Marilyn crossed paths again in 1961. One such event that has been mentioned in various accounts is a dinner party hosted by actor Peter Lawford at his Santa Monica home. Peter Lawford was Kennedy's brother-in-law, and he was known to have connections in the entertainment industry, which could have facilitated social interactions between Kennedy and Monroe. Marilyn Monroe divorced her third husband, playwright Arthur Miller, on January 20, 1961. Their marriage had lasted for almost five years, beginning on 1956. The reasons behind their divorce included personal and professional differences, and the fact that they spent much of their marriage facing various challenges, including Marilyn's personal struggles and the intense public scrutiny that came with being in a relationship with one of the world's most famous actresses. By 1961, Marilyn Monroe's career had experienced several ups and downs. She starred in two films. The Misfits, written by her then, husband Arthur Miller, is particularly noteworthy as it showcased a different side of her acting ability, moving away from the stereotypical blonde bombshell roles. It was her last completed film. However, behind the scenes, Marilyn struggled with personal challenges, including her marriage to Arthur Miller, which was under strain, and her ongoing battles with emotional and mental health issues. These struggles affected her work and led to delays and disruptions during film production. The most likely occasion for a romantic encounter between Marilyn Monroe 
and John F. Kennedy would have been on the night of March 24, 1962. It is believed that both Monroe and Kennedy attended a party at Bing Crosby's residence in Palm Springs. According to Maryland's close friend and masseur named Ralph Roberts, Roberts claimed that while conversing with Monroe over the phone during that weekend, Ralph overheard what appeared to be Kennedy's voice. Marilyn had called seeking professional advice for a massage, as Kennedy was known to have suffered from back problems, and, as the story goes, Kennedy even briefly spoke with Ralph himself on the phone. Kennedy was known to have extramarital affairs during his marriage to Jacqueline. There is evidence to suggest that he engaged in multiple affairs and had a reputation for his womanizing behavior. Some of Monroe's friends and acquaintances have claimed that she confided in them about her involvement with Kennedy. These claims have added to the belief that the relationship existed. Alleged secret rendezvous were said to have taken place in various locations, including the Kennedy family's compound in Hyannisport, Massachusetts, and even the White House. But I'll give an introduction anyway, Mr. President, because in the history of show business, perhaps there has been no one female who meant so much, who has done more. One of the most famous and enduring stories surrounding Marilyn Monroe and President Kennedy is her performance at John F. Kennedy's birthday celebration in 1962. It was May 19, 1962, and the occasion was a Democratic Party fundraiser held at Madison Square Garden in New York City. President Kennedy's birthday was approaching, and he was turning 45. Marilyn Monroe was invited to perform and her appearance was one of the most anticipated events of the evening. Marilyn, wearing a skin-tight, flesh-colored gown, took to the stage to sing a sultry rendition of Happy Birthday. Her performance was a sensation, and she added a playful and provocative tone to the song, emphasizing the words Mr. President. It was a moment that oozed sensuality and became an instant classic. The performance further fueled rumors of a romantic involvement between Marilyn and the president. It was said that their relationship was fraught with clandestine rendezvous and whispers of late night phone calls. Marilyn Monroe and Robert Kennedy, the brother of the president, were said to have met at social events and gatherings, given their shared connections in Hollywood and politics. Rumors about their relationship often swirl around the early 1960s during presidency. Three months after the celebration of president's birthday, Marilyn Monroe passed away on August 5, 1962, marked the tragic end of an iconic and beloved Hollywood star. Her death has been the subject of much speculation and controversy over the years. However, on August 4, 1962, Robert Kennedy and his family were staying in Northern California at the residence of a close family friend. According to various accounts, it is suggested that Robert made a visit to Marilyn Monroe's Los Angeles home in the hours prior to her passing. On November 22, 1963, President Kennedy was riding in a motorcade through Dealey Plaza in Dallas, Texas, when he was shot and killed. The tragic event sent shockwaves around the world. Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested as the alleged assassin, but was murdered in police custody before a trial could take place.